Welcome again. This is James Karanja. This is your video. It's a must watch video if you are in sales business. Today I'm going to handle anything to do with appointment calls. Appointment calls. If you are a salesperson and you have a phone with you and you don't use it correctly, you are just like a soldier in the battlefield having a gun which is full of bullets and is not able to fire back. So this is a must have for a sales person. Not a must having, but a must use, but use it in the correct way. Hope you understand that. You must use it in the correct way. The phone. The phone is a tool. Is the best friend of a salesperson. No matter which business you are in. This is the best tool if you are in sales business that you are going to have. Make this thing your best friend. Use it the correct way. If you don't know how, you can learn how. So, I'm going to handle how you can make good appointments through the phone. Because... There was, uh, in the company I am right now, there was a guy who came, he wanted to have the services uh, delivered, how many services to do with the company, but the guy never had an appointment, he just came. I found him, even he, he was even talking to customers. He found someone seated in the line waiting to be served, and he thought maybe he's one of the employees. He, he came there, you know what, I'm from this company, I want to do this and this. He was talking to the, rest, the wrong person. He used 10 minutes of his time to talk to the wrong person. And I had to think for myself, if that guy had made the right appointment call, he would not waste even 10 seconds. So he used more than 30 minutes talking to irrelevant people, talking to customers, talking to people who are in sales, talking to people who clean, you know? Talking, do you know even you want to, if you want to have a service, Deliver to a customer, I'm a to the client, I'm a to a company. If you talk to a secretary, it's not the person who's making the decision, so you're wasting your time. So, listen, this is how you make an appointment, and an appointment that is going to give you money, an appointment that makes you not to lose money and time. So, most of the company's numbers that you're going to get, most of the high valued people that you're going to get, you are going to get their personal assistance numbers. If not personal assistance numbers, you are going to get, if you are selling services to a customer or a company, you are going to get number one, the salesperson or the secretaries. The secretaries are the people that you can get their numbers quick and fast. So when you take this phone and you call a secretary, a secretary to a company, don't waste time with that person. Tell him, hello, good morning, this is James. James is a salesperson. I want to sell you this and this and that. Are you the person that makes the decision in that company? The secretary is going to tell you no. So when the secretary tells you no, tell him kindly connect to the person who makes these judgment, these decisions. So directly you are going to be connected to Mr. John who makes the decision of that company. It will save you two days of your time. Make that appointment. The other thing you have to understand, you are not making a sales through the phone. The phone is the fastest and the finest way to build an appointment. You have to understand that. So you are using this thing to make an appointment, not to sell. So if you have a customer who is always asking about the price, you have to know how to handle that customer. First, make sure you are able to communicate an appointment first. Most of the people, the person you have been connected to and the person who make decisions, they are always busy. And as I said, those people who are always busy are the people who buy, are the people who make the decision. So, make sure you use the phone. And you are going to get rejection because these people you are going to encounter, those people you are going to call, they are always busy. So, you have to make sure you are able to fit yourself in their busy schedule. So, what do you do to make sure you fit yourself in this busy schedule? You have to ask for 10 minutes only. Don't ask for 30 minutes, don't ask for 90 minutes. Make sure this person gives you only 10 minutes. 10 minutes of their time. This 10 minutes is going to make sure that you don't find the sales resistance I talked about. 
make sure that this 10 minutes is able to qualify or to close this person that you're having the other thing when you're using sales you have to make sure you hit the nail on the head so you're using the phone to make sure that you're solving a problem so if you're selling something that a person needs let's say you're talking to a salesperson of this company and maybe you're selling you're telling him how you're going to make more sales you are going to help his company to make sales maybe that percent so you have to make sure you're talking to the right person and tell him do you know that using what i have you can make 30 percent increase of your sales if you're talking to the right person you have hit the nail on the head you have hit where it hurt you know you are a doctor who is hitting uh, what is paining that person so a salesperson a sales manager all he thinks every day is to increase the sales of the company so you have to solve that thing so ask this person mr john it's just james speaking to you do you know i have a way to show you how you can increase your company's sales by 30 percent do you have some 10 minutes can i book an appointment tomorrow at 9 a.m you are trying to be in control of this sales of this appointment not that person tells you today i'm um, tomorrow i'll be busy can you make it at 11 a.m so you have tried to convince this person uh, that you can save ama you can solve the question ama you can solve the problem that he is having at that moment make sure you're in charge you know make sure you grab the attention by solving the problem of that person because when you speak to the right person you always look forward to solve this problem that this person is having so you solve try to solve a problem and give him the benefit of solving this problem which is profit you are going to be in a position to close this person then make sure you keep this an appointment make the decision if you say it's 10 minutes let it be 10 minutes if you say it's at 9 a.m appointment make sure you are there make sure you even remind him before the day breaks in the morning mr so and so you had said that you're going to meet at 9 a.m maybe to show you the a way that i'm going to help you in this and that make sure you remind this person to make sure that he gives you 10 minutes of your time make sure you ask through the phone the closing question you know how would you like to see me solving your problem how would you like to see you know you are going to throw this person at a thinking point of the problem that is having and you're going to provide the solution through the phone make sure you are able to have an appointment the other thing i would say is don't you ever speak price when you're making an appointment if an, a, a person you're talking to you know the person you're talking to maybe is a sales manager he's always thinking about the saving the money and getting the best out of you I'm out of, of out of any deal. So what you do, you tell him, the reason why I'm calling you is to make an appointment to show you. I cannot show you how I'm going to make money uh, with you. I'm how I'm I'm going to help you. I'm I'm going to assist you to make you money. So you must make sure that you are able to make a sale. Don't let price be the gap between the person you're talking to. Make sure you don't bring the price. Make sure you talk more value make sure you communicate how you're going to solve this person's problem if the person tells you how much do you charge tell this person there is before we talk about the price there is something i want you to show something is much greater or much bigger than the price itself you know that's how you close it. if the person tells you kindly send me uh, through this mail can they send me through the emails how you are going to do this don't do it because when you send something thing maybe through the mail that person might not even open that thing so when a person tells you send me a document of how you charge through the whatsapp don't do it because that person might not open it so that's why you have to be there to make this an appointment out of 10 appointments you're going to make if you're a good salesperson five out of ten you are going to make good sales and you have to be a master of your craft you must know what you're talking about you must be a very good sales person you have to know that these 10 minutes i'm going to close this person how do you close this person you have to ask the closing questions 
the question that they are going to qualify this person and they are going to make this person make the right decision and remove the sales resistance in this person so be in control ask a person are you going to be there personally because if a person gives you his junior to make a decision or if this person is going to give you the person does not make the decision you are going to have wasted your time don't waste your time with a person who is not in control of the business you are going to offer always talk to people that are in control and remember get the price out of the way just use 10 minutes and when you give an appointment make sure you have dressed to kill because you are not going to make a second chance in the first impression make sure you are going to dress to kill make sure you're direct to the point make sure you know these problems what is going through make sure you are going there to close this person make sure you control the sale get that 10 minutes that you you have been given and always always show up before time because the person you're talking to is very busy and he has a very tight schedule be there before time go there don't talk too much kill ask the quest killing question make sure you're able to get this sale done in 10 minutes in 10 minutes that's all you need to close a person just 10 minutes go there dress to kill make sure you get everything out, out of this person and you're going to have a very good sale so if you're a salesperson, you are talking to maybe a person through the phone, don't use more than 10 minutes. If a person comes to the site, make sure you have the techniques to close this person. Let's do this through training. I'm out. See you next time.